But when it comes to the New South Wales Trotters Derby at Club and Angle on Saturday night, tough love, the winner of the New South Wales Oaks last week in fine fashion. Again, looks the one to beat. However, there could be a couple of smokies there, particularly when it comes to the exotics to throw in. My next guest may just be able to help us out in this regard, Andrew Towers. Well, Andrew, the record books will show it's Fergie time finishing seventh last week behind Tough Love, 100 metres behind the favourite. However, disregard that run. Yeah, definitely disregard it. She was just running into the race around the last corner and she just copped the backwash of a bit of a racing interference from the inside, probably took her, out of, took her chances away from her. Now, as far as the exotics are concerned, she would have finished closer, no doubt, but certainly not troubling the winner. But as far as the exotics on Saturday night in the New South Wales Derby, certainly worthwhile throwing in from the good draw. Yeah, definitely. The draw helps her a bit this week. She should get to the pegs early. She'll love the 2300 and she'll be fine the line as good as anything. She's been a very handy performer so far. 13 starts, two wins and four placings. Nine starts here, two wins and three placings. So she does love racing on her home track. Yeah, she definitely does. She enjoys the big circuit. But she's, that, she's a little good filly, good gated. She can race anywhere. So she went down to Victoria at the end of last year, ran fourth in the group one, big bread for the two-year-old filly. So she's up there with the best of them. I know after the race I walked past you, you were shaking your head in uh, disbelief and also disappointment. Hopefully this time around you're going to have that luck you deserve. Yeah, we'll count our money last week a bit too early, but that's racing. We'll line up again this week and have another crack. And Robbie Morris, in an interview prior to the race on the Tuesday, gave it a bit of a wrap. Yeah, Robbie, Robbie likes her. Robbie wants the driver. Um, he's got a decision to, this, to make this week because he's got one of their own in, in Van Doren. But um, I'll leave the option up to him. He can drive whichever one he wants. I'll just find someone after that. Andrew, the Towers name has been in harness racing for a number of decades, commencing with your father, Jeff, and also mum, Kerry. Of course, mum, uh, daughter of Jim Forrest, who was also associated with harness racing. Yeah, the family's been in it from day dot, pretty much. So um, we've grown up around them our whole lives. We know nothing else. Dad was a hobby trainer driver, had success, but mainly concentrated on his electrician business. Yeah, he, he was a hobby trainer at the best of times, um, always running an electrical business, and that's, that's his crust, so he still does that to this day. Michael, your older brother, is now enjoying the life of luxury at Leeton, working hard just the same and enjoying success. I'm not sure if he's enjoying Leeton, but he's there, and that's probably the start for him. So um, He's working plenty of horses out there. Hopefully he can kick a few winners home soon and kickstart himself along out there. Younger sister Stacey, she's been in Melbourne now for at least a decade or more and she has enjoyed a lot of success. Yeah, she's had some good success while she's been in Melbourne. She won, actually won a Trotters Oaks with a Peter Hornsby trained mayor, uh, filly a few years back. So um, she's sort of, she's got to the highs of harness racing and hopefully we all get there again soon. And Andrew, you've been in harness racing from the word dot. Yeah, unfortunately sometimes. <laughs> it's hard work. Um, like at the moment I'm working for Jared in the morning and I do 12 of my own afterwards. So I'm at the barn six to six every day. And how many horses Joe currently got under work? Um, uh, at any stage, it's between 15 and 22. You've also been a very hard worker for Kerry Ann and Robbie Morris and also Michael Doltoff. So you've done the rounds, but no doubt you've learnt a lot along the way. Yeah, I've learnt, learnt from a few good trainers, and you could throw Peter Morris Sr. in there as well. Like, I've been around, you learn what you can and take it and put it into your own, own training methods. You're wearing a Manchester United shirt at the moment. They're going certainly through a... Uh, if he stage in the Premier League, you're still supporting supporting them? Oh, I don't watch it as much as I used to, that's for sure. It's hard to get up that time in the morning and watch a team playing bad. I suppose when you're working so many horses, that is a bit of a concern? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, you know, all the very best of luck with this Fergie time on Saturday in the New South Wales Trotters Derby. Hopefully luck will go your way this time around. Thanks, Mick.